Imagine having an abundance of money, but no one to enjoy it with. Imagine having everything you could ever want, but not being in good health. Imagine having all the resources, but not having a purpose or a mission. I think people fall in love with the illusion of a wealthy life, but they forget that money is just a tool, not the goal. I decided quite some time ago that my end game is not to have a ton of assets or a high digit in my bank account, but it's to build a life of true wealth, a combination of money, health, love, and purpose. So I organized my life in a way that I can invest in building this life with the resources I currently have. In my last video, I talked about the type of expenses that I cut out from my life, and this is the follow-up video. Today, I wanna to talk about how I redirect those resources. And I just wanna say that this is in no way the right way to do anything. This is just what works for me to prioritize the important things in my life. So with that said, let's first talk about financial wealth. When it comes to financial wealth, I really see it in three different timeframes. I would say my long-term goal is to build a secure financial future. Short-term goals are to invest in meaningful experiences and my day-to-day -day expenses are to afford a good life. I really had to think hard about what is my long-term goal? What would be my definition of a meaningful life 10 plus years down the road? At first, my husband and I flirted with the idea of working hard in our 20s, 30s, and 40s, and potentially being able to retire early. But I don't think that's for us. I still wanna make sure that we're financially secure and have the freedom of time, of course, but it's more important to me to work a job that I find meaning in and go at a slower pace. So the best that I can do right now for my future self is to max out my retirement account every month and also let our real estate investment mature. I have no idea what the future holds and things are constantly changing, but I feel like this is something that I can control and also it's a manageable way for me to contribute little by little to that distant dream. Even for my short-term goals, I follow the concept of pay myself first. Anytime I get paid, I put aside money before I pay my bills so that I can save up for those bigger things in life. Right now, for example, I am saving up for many different things. My sister is coming to visit me soon, so I want to do all these different types of experiences with her. And also, we are going to Japan in May with our friends. These are the types of meaningful experiences that are going to be so worth the wait. And then my lifestyle expenses. I always try to adjust according to the different seasons of my life, but one thing I always stay true to is I always live way below my means. I find that having a good system in place works way better than having a budget because it doesn't feel restrictive, yet it still moves us forward towards building our financial wealth. Confucius once said, a healthy man wants a thousand things, a sick man, only once one. It is so true because without our health, everything else would be totally irrelevant. But it's crazy that in our money driven society, that our health sometimes has to take the back seat. I'm not an expert by any means, but I truly believe that building a healthy lifestyle doesn't have to be complicated. Exercising a couple of times a week, drinking enough water, Eating nutritious food and getting enough sleep is enough for most of us. And for mental health, learning to manage stress, being more mindful, having loving relationships can make such a big difference. And I think instead of making time for these habits, these should be the pillars of our days, our non-negotiables, because good physical and mental health is the foundation to everything else. I don't really have a specific goal when it comes to my health, but I just want to feel good in my body for as long as I can. I still wanna be able to travel in my 70s and also maybe hike in my 60s. And I know that's not magically going to happen without making some intentional choices right now. 
One thing I've been working on is just being more mindful of what I need in this moment. Sometimes I'm in a state of overwhelm and I just wanna put down everything and just go for a walk. But other times I'm just full of energy. I'm like, go, go, go. And I wanna channel that energy to do productive things. Just listening to my body and allowing it to do what it needs to do. I feel like that fulfills both my mental and my physical health. Social wealth for me isn't really about status or how many people I know, but I think it really is about the connections that I have with the people in my life. My love language is quality time, but it's hard because most of my friends and family live so far away. So I decided that I wanna make it my goal to try to see them at least once a year to nourish these relationships, sometimes to celebrate the big milestones, the small moments, try new experiences together, or be there as support. I know that my life is as rich as the quality of my relationships, so I need to invest time, effort, and emotions into them too. I've been in situations where it felt very one-sided and I was the only one putting in effort. It does become really hard after a while. I feel like we know when we invest in the right relationships because not only does it really enrich our lives, but I feel like the return on investment comes back to us tenfold. Like I said in the beginning, I feel like we could have all the money in the world, but if we didn't have a purpose, life would still feel very empty. Having a clear sense of purpose will really give us direction, meaning, and fulfillment. This could be your spiritual beliefs or family duties, responsibilities, your job or your passions or community service. I mean, there's so many different ways that we can fulfill or feel our purpose. I think one of the best ways to discover our purpose is to expose ourselves to as many situations as possible. Try new things, take risks, interact with all different types of people. And through these experiences and sometimes failures, we start to understand our own values, passions, and strengths. The best thing I did was take a gap year to solo travel in my early 20s. I wouldn't say that I found my life's purpose, but it did allow me to dig a little deeper and reflect on the bigger picture. If we're lucky, we will discover what our purpose is and attach some kind of meaningful goal with it. But I feel like it is just as important to find a purpose in everything you do. I think the most beautiful people are those who can be content and satisfied regardless of the situation that they're in. They are the same people who can find joy and happiness from even the smallest moments. And to me, I feel like they possess true wealth. You can have a wealthy life and everything that you could ever want, but I feel like being able to enjoy it and being able to appreciate it is a completely different thing. I would love to know what a wealthy life means to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.